I thought I'd do a little demonstration here on capacitors and motors and stuff. Okay, we have a fan here. It's just a fan out of a furnace. PSC motor has a run cap. And I want you to consider if this fan was running, what would be the voltage across that capacitor? Now, I'm going to run this on 120, probably 125 volts. Uh, will the voltage reading on that capacitor be 125 volts? Let's find out. Lots of good noise there. Let's see what happens when I put the probes across the capacitor. Okay. 355 volts. So what did that tell me? I put in 125 volts and while the fan was operating I had 350 volts plus. So what does that mean? Well, it's something that happens when a capacitor runs. There is a back EMF to all these motors, that is a an equal and opposite voltage going backwards and so the voltage that is generated is stacked on top of the incoming voltage so what does that mean to use a service tech most of the time you don't care but it does mean if this machine is running the last thing in the world you want to do is touch those terminals because that is big time voltage uh, where I worked we had a guy that was electrocuted that way he survived because a uh, nurse was living next door and saw him get electrocuted and came over there and gave him CPR and got him living again but if that capacitor is in that circuit and the machine's running that is a highly dangerous voltage and you need to be concerned about it now you saw this thing operate in fact I'll fire it up again just so everything's fresh Now, touch the terminals. Should I? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Once the power is off, there's no power in that thing. I know everybody tells you to short the terminals. They're not really supposed to short them. You're actually supposed to put a 20K resistor across them. But, why didn't it shock me? When it was running, I would have dared put my fingers across that thing. That could be lethal. But when it's off, it shuts off. Okay. It's because it discharges through the motor. I'm going to show you a uh, diagram of a PSC motor. And you can see, if you look at the way the windings are set up, that this capacitor is not going to hold power because it's going to discharge through the motor. 
Now there may be conditions, odd conditions. Uh, I've never had it happen, but I guess it could happen where there was a defect in the motor windings in some way and uh, uh, the windings opened after power was put to it and then it would be charged. I've never seen it happen in the field, but I guess it could. Anyway, I thought I'd throw that thing at you because it is something that actually happened during my career in this business. You do want to keep your fingers away from these things when they're operating. When it's shut off, no big deal. Okay, that's it on this one.